If you've ordered a martini in the past, say, 50 years, it's safe to assume that pop culture has played a large part in what you've ordered. Shaken, like everyone's favorite super spy, Mr. Bond. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Cosmopolitans, like HBO's Sex and the City Girls. Martinis have become far removed from their origins, and there are a lot of different choices out there. But there are those who believe that some martini trends may have hurt more than helped, and that the classic martini is much more than it seems. So I had to find out. Are the old ways still the best? First of all, it's a gin cocktail, not a vodka cocktail, traditionally. Uh, second, um, you have to use a uh, high quality vermouth, and it's usually two parts gin to one part vermouth. It, it needs to be fresh vermouth. I, I know most of you out there probably have vermouth that's sitting in your cupboard um, that's five, six years old. Do me a favor and throw it out because it, it just doesn't make a good martini. It's a, a wine and it will oxidize. So hold on a second. I have an old bottle of vermouth at home that's exactly like that. What can I do to make my martinis better? So you have a couple options. You can either keep it in the fridge, we'll keep it for about two weeks. Um, you can also wine pump it if you have like a wine pump and it'll pull the oxygen out and that way you don't have uh, the oxygen touching it and it won't oxidize. People stopped using vermouths in martinis because it was a bad product. It was an old vermouth that oxidized and, and it starts getting bitter flavors, it just doesn't taste good. So that's the biggest key is throw away that old vermouth and use fresh vermouth. And lastly, I had to find out the answer to an age old question, shaken or stirred? Traditionally, a martini, a, a true martini, the gin martini, is, uh, is stirred. So anytime you have vermouth, you want it to be a silky texture, silky smooth feeling on the, the tongue. And when you shake a, a martini, you actually have these really small air bubbles. And the air bubbles actually hit your tongue, and it kind of makes it uh, a weird mouthfeel. And also, um, it, it kind of helps oxidize the, the vermouth. If you try them side by side, it's, it's a world of difference. It's really surprising how big of a difference is.